Hey guys, what's up? It's Candace. Welcome back to my channel. So I am, I don't know what I am. <laughs> Today is a little bit different. So you probably have noticed my video quality is a little different. The audio might even be different. Like the quality and audio just isn't as on par as my last few. You all know that I take a lot of pride in my YouTube channel and I only shoot with the best, okay? I shoot in 4K, I edit in 4K, I upload in 4K because um, I want to really bring you all a great experience and I want the picture to be great, on par, all that good jazz. So I've got really good equipment. However, <laughs> I am unable to use that equipment today. Um, my um, computer that I do all of my editing in, it is currently out in the shop for repair and I'm not getting it back for about a week. Um, but I really am dedicated to staying on schedule and giving you all a video every Friday as promised. So I am actually recording on like a web-based interface. So hopefully this all works out. I can still download and edit it. It's just not the crisp, clear um, video that you all are normally used to. However, we're going to make it do what I do, and we're going to keep the show going. Um, today, you all, I'm really excited. So if you've been with me for a while, you all know when we started this channel back in, I believe it was 2017, <laughs> this started as a beauty channel, like skincare, makeup, hair products, really skincare and makeup uh, products. That's like my first love. Like I, I like playing in different makeup. Um, trying new things, trying new products and sharing them with you guys. And that's what this channel started out as. And it has morphed into a full lifestyle brand. And I'm so excited for where we are. However, comma, okay, when I come across good cosmetics, I want to be able to share those with you all. And that's what I'm doing today. So I recently came across a new brand of makeup. You all have seen me share it in a couple of my previous videos, but today it's all about the makeup. I'm going a little bit more in depth and I'm going to get ready. I'm getting ready for um, an event tonight. Uh, just nothing like super fancy, just a low key, like little appreciation event. Um, and I need to put a face on. So we're going to go ahead and do all that. But um, I have new makeup products that I am loving. I've actually been using them since October and I've had an amazing experience and it's now to a point where I decided, you know what? I think I'm ready to share these with the world because they're that bomb. So um, links to all the products that I'm going to be using are going to be down in the description box. As always, you can check them out. You can um, actually go to a landing page where it has all of my favorite products um, along with the shades that I'm in. But you can also pick your own shades. If you need a color match, you can fill that out below as well. And I will help you pick out um, the best shades as far as foundations and concealers for you. And if you purchase for the very first time through my links below, you'll get 20% off of your very first order. And if there's any promos and specials going on, you will get those as well. So if you want to see the new products that I am currently using and loving as far as my makeup is concerned, be sure to keep watching. But before you do that, don't forget to hit the bell icon. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to most importantly, okay, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? I don't want you all to miss any future uploads that I may have. And I want you all to be a part of the debutante family. So without further ado, let's jump into this full face of makeup. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. First things first, you all know that nothing goes on my face as far as any type of makeup product that go on my face without a barrier, a protective barrier. And that protective barrier is my skincare routine. I've already done my double cleanser, my toner, my serums, my boosters, my moisturizers, and my oils. And that's what's on my face right now. So now we're actually going to prep the skin for the makeup. So First, I'm going in with the 4-in-1 Hydrating Mist. Um, Y'all, this stuff is so good. Um, and in case you haven't noticed yet, we are talking about Bellamy Beauty. These products, mm, you guys, these products are so bomb. They are bomb.com. So, so, so good. Um, 
like I said, I had been using these products since about October. And it's so crazy because my best friend, like she had been toying around with the idea of, of trying these products and even joining the business to sell the products. But of course, I'm always the guinea pig. I'm like, girl, don't worry about it. I'm gonna buy them. I'll try them first. <laughs> and I'll let you know how they are. Um, she took my word for it. I raved about them. She tried the products, loved them, joined the business. And now she is like, killing it um and sharing these amazing products with everybody else and of course y'all know that's my best friend so i had to join her too so let's jump into this so this 401 prep spray guys it is really good to it it, it helps to prime set condition and protect um so i also use a primer so we're using it from an aspect of setting we want our makeup that we put over top of it to really set to the finish that we want we want it to condition um and we want it to protect like you never want to put makeup it doesn't matter how great makeup is right at the end of the day your natural skin is always best so we want to make sure we protect our skin the best we can so you always want to make sure you have a barrier in between your skin and any type of makeup products that you're going to put on it so 401 prep spray is good so the thing about it is we can use this before we put makeup on and we're also going to finish with it okay next we are going in with a mattifying primer y'all know your girl loves a matte face so also i've got a mirror right here so that i can see what i'm doing to my face <laughs> Um, we're always going to go with the matte face, but here's the thing about primer. Unless you are somebody that literally gets oily over every single inch of your face, you don't want to put your primer over at your entire face. You only want to put it on the areas where you have trouble. Now, unless you're using a like glowy foundation, uh, I mean, um, primer, like a shimmer primer or, um, something like that, then that you probably want to just put even on like the high points or um, maybe you want to look shimmery and glossy all over. I don't know. But me, I don't. I only want to glisten in the right areas. So I only put my primer in the areas that I normally have shine come through, which is in my T-zone area. So that's the only place I'm going to put primer because we've already prepped the skin and we had that layer of uh, protection as well. So I'm not too worried about that. Now we're going to let that sit for a second. And FYI, this primer does come in two different ones. Like I said, there's the mattifying and then there's like, I can't even think of the name right now, y'all. I'm drawing a blank. But basically it's the opposite of mattifying. So you're going to have a little shine, a little glow, with your, glowing, your glowing primer. So um, we're going to let this sit for a second. It gives you that nice little like silicone-y feeling without the silicone, which is really nice. So we're going to hop into our foundation. Y'all, this is a foundation that I can't even describe. Okay, go back on my channel and go to some of my beauty videos. Go to the playlist. I'll actually link it on one of these sides over here. You all know that I have tried every foundation under the sun. And for the last five or six years, I have had a OG, holy grail, no questions asked. I'm not deviating. So um, I went between, like I would alternate days, either between the Hourglass Vanish Stick or the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear. Oh, both of those are such, such good foundations. They are amazing. But y'all, when I tell you I tried this, <laughs> it is giving both of them a run for their money. I have not used anything else since October, but this. And the great thing is, this is still the same foundation that I purchased in October. So a little bit goes a long way and there is still plenty in here. Um, now I will say, y'all know, I keep it honest around here, okay? I'm not gonna tell you something's great if it's not. I'm gonna not gonna tell you to do it this way versus another way if I think it's better. This foundation, I do think, in order to get the the coverage you want that you're go you're going to be looking for in this foundation, the best coverage, the longest wear, you need to apply it with a brush, a dense brush, and you need to do stippling motions. Don't swipe and wipe and swirl it on. You need to stipple it on, and then blend it kind of gently. Do not use a sponge. Okay, you're going to find that. Um, the sponge is going to absorb a lot of this foundation. And then even if you put the foundation on first, it's still going to absorb it as you pat it, but you're not going to get that nice finish that I know your 
wanting in your foundation. So just trust me, get you a nice dense brush and run with it. I actually just found, I've, I tried a couple different brushes with it and the best one that I found was the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. You guys, this is, don't pay attention, I need to clean it. I know, I'm so embarrassed. I've been using this for a week and I haven't cleaned it yet. And y'all know, I love to clean my brushes, but I'm a little behind. I normally clean it like after every two or three uses, but this one's been about a week. But this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, I think it was less than 10 bucks. And you all, it is the best I have found so far for this foundation. I just put a little bit on it and then I start putting little dabs on my face. I don't know why, but I always do my forehead last. <laughs> I don't know, but you're just going to go around and stipple it, okay? You want to make sure you get it around your ear, your neck, the under the chin area. Just go in with it. Mm. I'll speed this section up so that y'all don't have to see me stipple and blend all over my face. Now, when it comes down to the neck, this part you do want to blend it out because you don't want to walk around with two different shades on your body. Same thing with your ears. Blend up into the hairline. You don't want lines, you guys. This is not 1994 and we're not your mama where they walked around <laughs> with makeup lines. And I'm darker complected, so... I always like to blend my foundation down onto my lips because I think when it when it gets ready to do when I get ready to do my lipstick, the line and the highlight that I put on my cupid's bow, it just looks a lot better. So I just close my mouth, go at it. Who's calling me? And I put it onto my eyelids too, even though I'm gonna use a different primer for my eyelids. But you all, that little bit <laughs> went such a long way. It looks so good. Again, I wish I was shooting in 4K today so you all could see how good this looks. <laughs> but it looks so good. So that was the foundation just for um, down below. I will also have all of the colors that I'm using, uh, the shades I'm using in each item. And then there's also going to be a link below where it's going to have all of my favorite products. And when you're looking at it, the shades that I'm currently using is what's going to show um, on there as well, but you can pick your own. But in the foundation, I am in a shade 17. Now, I am not going to use a concealer today. So, but in the concealer, I have an eight. Um, and that's for if I truly want the brightening effect. This is not to conceal. This is for brightening, at least this shade. Now, there are shades that match this if I wanted to conceal. But this is for brightening. Um, it is a shade 8. And I would normally put it under my eyes, but I'm not even going to do that today. We're going for just a soft, casual, everyday homegirl look, okay? <laughs> but the cool thing is when you buy a foundation, you get the concealer for free. So another reason to try this out because you legit don't. <laughs> have anything to lose. <laughs> All right. Um, as far as powder is concerned, um, so we do not have like a set like powder, uh, like a setting powder. That is one product that we do not have as of yet. So I like to use two different powders. Okay. I like to use my Charlotte Tilbury um setting powder the airbrush powder and then also patrick stars one size beauty powder so i really like to use both of these and really um set my face and i'm telling you all this gives like the best finish ever especially under your eye it makes you look so airbrushed it just looks amazing you want to set the face because we don't want any shine to come through, which with all the prepping we did, we don't have that problem. But I also like to just safeguard just to get that that nice finish. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to do that. And a little bit goes a long way, you guys. You don't need a whole lot. Um, next, we are going to bronze a little bit. Now, we do have, uh, Bellamy does have some bronzers. There's two in here. Um, but for me personally, 
these bronzers aren't my color. <laughs> They're not my shade. Um, so, and you all know, I don't discriminate when it comes to products. I believe in taking what works from different brands, what works for you and using them. And I like to mix and match. So this, um, we got two different compacts here that have eyeshadows, blush, highlighter, and bronzer. But again, these bronzers aren't dark enough for me. So I won't be using those, but I do like to use the eyeshadows out of these. So we're going to go in with the Anastasia bronzer, and this is in shade Mahogany. Where's my brush? And we just want to use some bronzer to warm up the skin. And yes, you guys, black girls use bronzer too, okay? We all need a little warmth in our skin. We all have different undertones, and this helps us the same way it does those that are of a lighter skin tone. So we are going to do that. We're gonna warm it up. Perfect. Now we're gonna go in with a highlighter. Again, um, we have these champagne glow drops that are really nice. Like I'm telling you guys, just a little bit of this goes a really, really long way. But I am going to use a different one today, going for a different shade and tone today. I'm going in with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Bronzer in Exposure. Y'all, this color is so good. So, 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 so good. And it just takes a little bit to really give you that pop. Okay? Do y'all see that? Ooh! Woo! <laughs> Sometimes I do get a little carried away and I have to wipe a little bit of it off. <laughs> but I love highlighter. We are going to glow to the gods, y'all. Okay. We're rushing because we got to get out the door. So bear with me. Next up, we are going to do some eyeshadow. Y'all, this eyeshadow palette is one of my favorites, okay? It has some good colors in it. So it's got three shimmers, three mattes. So good. Um, okay. Eyeshadow's done. We just did some shimmer on the lids, and then we went in with the darker color um, through the center crease. It'll look so much better once we get some eyeliner and mascara on, <laughs> which y'all know I can't talk, okay? I can't do both. I just, I just can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. So, y'all, this liquid eyeliner is so good. It's a nice felt tip. Felt, felt tip tip <laughs> but it's really nice now i will say when i very very first tried it i didn't like it because compared to the one that i was using before which i can't remember which one i was using before but it, the tip was really hard the other one was really really soft so i'm like oh i don't think i like this but i the more i kept using it the more i realized i have a more control when i'm trying to do my line and this shows up really really bold so i do like this a lot and i've stopped using my other one so y'all know i can't talk and do this so i'll be back okay now we're gonna do some lower um eyeliner which i use this like black charcoal pen it's bellamy as well it's in black we're just going to give the waterline a little something, something. I know everybody's into like white on the waterline now, but that's just not my jam. Call me old school. That's fine. I'll take it. Now we're going to go in with mascara. Um, this high definition mascara in black is so good. Again, this was another one that I wasn't sure about at first use. Um, but now that I've been using it for a little while, I really, really like it. And I go in with this first and then I top it with the Patrick Star One Size Beauty Fantasize Mascara. Y'all, this is bomb. But I love how it looks with both of these. I love how my eyes look with both of these together. All right, we're going to finish up the other side. But yeah, this doesn't take a lot either. And I used to curl my lashes with like an eyelash curler. But y'all, the older I get, the more like fragile I feel like my eyelashes are. And every time I would use a curler, I feel like I had more come out on still stuck on the curler than were stuck in my eye. 
So I'm like, let me preserve what little bit I have left and stop using the eyelash curler. So it's like, you know, my eyelashes are what they are. Like it, it is what it is. So <laughs> I don't know. And I just go over top of it with the fantasize mascara. Y'all, so, so good. And I always buy the travel size. Um, in mascara, like if I'm using two of them, one of them is going to be a travel size because I think these, the smaller handle, the smaller wand is really good for getting the bottom lash line. Okay. Eyes are done. Now we got to do brows and y'all know, y'all know I cannot do brows and talk. I mean, I know brows don't have to be twins, but they should somewhat be sisters Mine are usually nine times out of 10 distant cousins, okay? So, <laughs> and that's with me concentrating. So I definitely can't do it while I talk to you all. But we do have a brow pomade that is really, really good, you all. I use deep brown. And y'all, a little bit goes a very long way. So here they are now. I'll be right back. And yes, I need a wax, okay? Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Brows are in, and again, this makes me look really weird. I promise you they look a lot better than what they're showing online right now. Um, in this video, we're going to put a little pomade or some clear gel over top of them so that they stay slick down. We don't want them like wandering off. You know, they're cousins, like distant cousins, so we need them. Yeah, whatever. So, oh, I just threw something. All right, so we've got... Full face on, and we've got foundation on, we've got powder, highlighter, bronzer, brows, eyes. Now we need lips, okay? Lips, lips, lips. So I typically would do make like um, a full on red lip or something like that, but <laughs> right now I'm obsessed with this gloss. This is a um, the moisturizing lip gloss in Bella Blush. Yes, it looks super pink, but y'all, it comes through like amazing. Um, before we do that, though, we're going to set the skin again. So we're going to go back in with that 401 primer spray. And now we're going to go in with this, y'all. It is so good. So good. Y'all, I love this lip gloss. Like, it just gives the perfect little, Mwah! I love it. And like, I love this look. So once I get myself together and put a full outfit on, it'll look even better. But I just wanted to do a quick little get ready with me so you all can see the new makeup that I'm using, what I'm loving, how it looks. Y'all know I'll have another video um, for you all in 4K, high definition, for you all to really take all this in. But I wanted you all to see it because um, we have the promos and specials going on all the time. So drop a comment below if you need a shade match. If you have questions about any products, um, y'all know I swear by these products. If I'm sharing it with you, I swear by it. Um, the makeup, I am using Bellamy for my makeup needs. Um, my skincare, y'all know it is Modair Cell Proof Line all day, every day. Um, I am using that still. I have tons of videos on that. Be sure to check it out. Um, y'all know my supplements. It's still Modair, um, but I have incorporated a new makeup line, and I'm loving it, and you need to try it out. So don't forget, you get 20% off your first order. If you use my link below, if you have questions or anything, drop it down in the comments. I can help you get um, matched with your best shade, um, and I can also just give you the, the lowdown, my real opinion on these products, because again, just because you're affiliated with a company or a brand doesn't mean you have to love everything or use everything. You know, everything's not everybody's jam. Um, I can tell you my experience. You can then find out for yourself. Um, so 
Thank y'all for sticking around with this video. Like I said, I know that it's a little bit different for me. Y'all may not even notice a difference, but I know I notice a difference in the lighting and the sound and setup and everything and just the video quality. But hopefully my computer will be back next week and I will bring you all our normal setup. So stay tuned. But don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you never miss an upload from me. And don't forget, sharing is caring. Find a friend, send this link out to them because everybody can use some good skincare and everybody can use some good makeup. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good weekend.